Hey, friend. <laughs> I'm getting pie. Getting pie. Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's time to deal with the leftover Christmas beast roast. This here is probably three pounds left over of roast beef. We've been eating sandwiches and hot roast beef sandwiches. Um, I'm gonna die, this is a piece that I was too small to slice anymore, so I'm gonna throw this in tonight's soup. You guessed it, minestrone. So, I threw in the leftover potatoes and carrots from supper, a can of mushroom broth, or not a can, a carton of mushroom broth, a can of tomatoes, Celery, onions, the leftover carrots and potatoes. Oh, I haven't put my kidney beans in yet, but I'm going to put my kidney beans in. And I'm just going to throw these little bits of roast beast in there. So Papa knows there's meat in his soup. And we're going to put in a jar of my home canned kidney beans. And there it is. That's what supper is going to be. We'll throw some uh, shell noodles in there about 20 minutes before we eat. Let's get to slicing that roast. Use this little lid as a plate here. And uh, we'll put the slices in there until, let's see what we have here. Anything I can, see this is my problem, is my son cut it up to put it in the bag and now it's too thin. Um, for me to slice and I don't have a proper meat slicer but daddy likes his roast not just sliced thin but minced as well so we're just gonna do the best we can to get him some proper slices and if not well I'll get as close to shaving it as I can and anything too that I can no longer slice will just be diced up and thrown in tonight's soup or put in a sandwich for my lunch. Now, one thing you notice, everybody wants a nice slice of roast beef on their sandwich, but the truth is, is when you get older, your teeth get, you know, your teeth aren't as good as they used to be, and mincing up your meat in a sandwich is not a problem. A loose meat sandwich is just as good. Now this is gonna go into the soup. has to be, these are the cheaper bags, they're only textured on one side. It has to be that side up because it's wrinkled. Okay folks, these bags I got from Walmart, I'm going to tell you, I've had some problems with them not sealing properly and I'm going to tell you why I think that is. These bags are only textured on one side and the way they were packaged, they've got a wrinkle in them. If you, when you're sealing them, do not put them clear side up. Put them textured side up. For some reason, if you put them clear side up, your textured side doesn't seal as properly. I don't know why, but we figured out the problem. Thank goodness. Um, I said these were going to be for Papa's lunches, but you know what? There is enough beef here that I can do, I can do, like, seriously, this is a meal for two people. So that's what I'm doing. I'll make a, a package for Papa to have a roast beef lunch, but I, I'm getting suppers out of these. This bag. And there's another lunch. So we got two lunches for Papa. Now let's seal this bag and cut the top off. Doesn't always work, but when you start creating your own seams, then you get a you know it gets tricky. All right. Now we'll cut this end off.
Now these leftover pieces, hope this works, um, I'm just going to drop in here for one day when I want to make a minestrone soup. Or I want to have stew, or I want a bit of extra meat in something. Waste not, want not. Okay, folks, here's the skinny. We had a nine pound roast for Christmas dinner. Then we had uh, hot roast beef sandwiches for supper last night and roast beef sandwiches for lunch. So that's Christmas, a, another supper, another lunch. That's three meals. Here is a supper. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but there's only two of us. But if you have gravy, or if you can make some gravy or anything like that, this is two hot roast beef sandwiches right there. This is um, any kind of supper that you want to make it, okay? So we had three meals, Christmas, and another supper and a lunch. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, seven suppers. No, nope, that's not right. Eight suppers going in the freezer. So that's three and eight is 11. We have the, the minestrone soup in the crock pot. That's 12. And two lunches for Papa. That is 15 meals. So let's do the math, folks. Yes, the Christmas was a pretty decadent meal. But I paid... Uh, what did I pay for that roast? 68 and change. Okay, let's just say $68. It was 67 and change. How many meals did I say I got? I can't remember. Divided by 15. Equals. That's $4.53 of sirloin roast beef per meal. Okay? That is your breakdown. And uh, that's how, you know, yes, I splurged on a great big, great big roast for Christmas. But the leftovers are still going to serve us well for at least another month. Because that's just good home economics. Take care. God bless. Mwah.